Hello, this is Tom Garrity, Communications Lead for the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Today is May 27, 2020 in the morning. We're providing you a video update about the 2020 event. Joining me today to share a little bit more information is Sam Parks, Director of Operations for the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Tom. Thanks for having me this morning. Before we get started, I would like to just give a, a shout out this morning to all the pilots, crew, sponsors, all of our uh, team leads, uh, volunteers, and our guests for anyone that the COVID-19 virus has affected them or their families. We also would like to give uh, a shout out to our frontline workers who have been working so hard to try to mitigate this virus. So our hearts go out to all those people that have been affected by this nasty virus, and our thoughts and prayers will continue for everyone's safety and well-being. Thank you, Sam. A lot of the viewers are wondering right now, what is the status of the 2020 event? Whether you're a pilot, a navigator, sponsor, a concessionaire, guest loyal following, all your support matters. And so it, it is the International Balloon Fiesta, and it's also the largest balloon event in the world. So we are trying our hardest uh, to help make this event start on October the 3rd. Uh, the Albuquerque Journal had a story last week referencing some of the different plans and scenarios related to this year's event. Could you go through those different scenarios? Sure. These are just internal plans uh, because we've tried to develop some plans based on uh, what we've been hearing from both uh, the, the city and, and uh, state governments. But we've put together some scenarios in which that we think that we can have a balloon fiesta. And of course, it's just too early to know which ones. Uh, plan A or option A stands for all in. That means that we're having a typical balloon fiesta here in 2020. But even with a typical balloon fiesta, there would there will be some major changes that you see, uh, some additional sanitation measures that we will be implementing to keep our guests safe. So there's a long list of those things that will help achieve that goal. Uh, option B stands for Balloon Fiesta Light. That means that we're still having our uh, typical Balloon Fiesta, but there'll be uh, cutbacks on all areas, whereas you may see that uh, Music Fiesta may get canceled, for example, or the Balloon Discovery Center will be cut back or eliminated altogether. We may have to reduce the number of guests that we allow into our park just to make the event somewhat smaller so we can control uh, the throughput into the park as well as maintain and achieve our sanitation mitigation factors. Option C stands for cyber, which means that we would broadcast or stream a balloon fiesta around the world, but it would only have balloons on the field, whereas it would not have, unfortunately, uh, our guests or our vendors, or potentially even our sponsors on the field, if we are uh, restricted to the number of guests that we can allow into a park. And last but not least, and certainly what one that we don't want to have happen, D stands for delayed, whereas it could be delayed to sometime later in the year, or quite frankly, uh, delayed a whole year, whereas we would not have a balloon fiesta in 2020. But right now, everything is on schedule and options A, B, and C are the ones that are primarily being discussed. That is correct. Those are all internal, uh, and we understand that these have to be adapted and changed as we learn more about the, the virus and the health uh, restrictions that are imposed upon us and all of all the citizens here in New Mexico. So if you could, Sam, go into a little bit about the internal and the external uh, benchmarks for determining uh, what the event will look like in October. Well, uh, as you can imagine, uh, Balloon Fiesta is a job that takes, uh, there's a staff of 20 of us here in the office. We work on this year round. So as soon as one fiesta ends, we start working on the, the following year's fiesta. And so even though we've been working from home since March the 18th of this year, all of our work continues on a daily basis. And some of those internal benchmarks were hit pretty early on, as in the RV reservations, which were rolled out right after Balloon Fiesta 2019, those reservations were full before the end of the year. Our pilot registration or applications went out at the beginning of the year, and we've capped that at 625 balloons um, from balloons all over the world. Uh, we have 100 special shapes, and also our America's Challenge gas pilot race applications are all full. We've been selling merchandise ever since uh, 
well, year round. That goes on regardless. Uh, our gift shop was open until the pandemic hit. Uh, we're doing online sales. And also um, our uh, tickets went on sale April the 4th of this year. So we sold a lot of tickets right off uh, in the beginning before the virus hit. So a lot of our internal mechanisms have already been met and also our uh, benchmarks of trying to in, increase sanitation measures for our event. We've been working on that from the very beginning and we seem to have come up with quite a few plans in which that we can put Balloon Fiesta on and still have our guests, guests come through the gates quite safe. Recently, the Santa Fe New Mexican ran a story quoting the Secretary of Tourism, Jen Scheuer, as her saying, quote, we may not have the ability to do a mass gathering until we have a vaccine or herd immunity. It could be a year or 18 months. Nora Sackett Myers, the governor's press secretary, uh, followed up and confirmed that it could be a long time before it's safe to have gatherings of more than 100. What are your reactions to those comments? Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to the governor and also through the Secretary of Tourism that Balloon Fiesta has had a voice at the seat uh, in regards to providing some feedback through the Tourism Task Force that provided some guidance to the Economic Recovery Council uh, that's been uh, working on behalf of the governor to try to figure out ways in which that we can open back up. Uh, and so we've been providing some feedback through the task force as to how we could possibly open up festivals and fairs. And uh, it is still too early to tell whether or not those uh, gathering uh, limitations will be implemented in October uh, because we're learning more about the, uh, how this virus is spread on a daily basis. So right now we're exploring all of our options and, and keeping our hopes up that we'd be able to have balloon fiesta in October. But right now, everything is still a go and planning continues. Uh, Sam, I wanted to be able to kind of uh, bounce off of you a couple of questions that we have uh, from our Facebook followers on uh, facebook.com slash balloon fiesta. Uh, top question, which I know you've already addressed to some degree, is, um, is, is the 2020 balloon fiesta event canceled? It is not. Uh, we, we work hard every day from direction from the AIBF board of directors all the way down to the staff as to how we can put on a safe event in October. So we're full speed ahead, but we're keeping all of our plans open and flexible as we learn more about this. Uh, but right now, it's still open. Um, many are also curious if they buy tickets and the event is canceled, will there be a refund? Our policy has been for several years in which that if you bought a ticket in one year and you couldn't come for whatever reason, uh, you could use the ticket the following year. And so the, the same would apply for this year as well. Uh, so if they bought a ticket for 2020 event and it gets canceled for some reason or they can't come, they can use that ticket in 21. Uh, finally, for those who have purchased tickets for programs such as the popular Gondola, Pro, Gondola Club or Park and Ride, um, what options are available to them if, they, uh, are un, if, if the event is canceled? Sure. Uh, they can do two things. We'll give them the option of fully refunding their ticket uh, this year, or if they would like to retain that ticket and use it for next year, that option is also available. And that, that's the same whether it's for Gondola Club, Park and Ride, general admission. Sam, as we uh, wrap up today's uh, video, uh, is there anything else you'd like to be able to share with the fans of Balloon Fiesta? Just know that we are working hard daily uh, on ways in which that we can put on the 2020 event. Uh, and, but also we understand that the safety and well-being of our guests and our patrons that come through the gate is most important in our minds and our hearts. And we're doing everything that we can to make this a safe event. So just know that we're trying hard to make sure that the 2020 event goes off as planned. Sam Parks, Director of Operations for the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, thank you very much for your time today. Um, if you are interested in seeing more and getting regular updates uh, from Balloon Fiesta, please be sure to tune in to any of our social channels. We'll be updating the Facebook page more often just because it's more of an interactive space. You can get all of those links by way of visiting the balloonfiesta.com website and just clicking on the respective icons 
uh, on the page. Just as a quick reminder, today is May 27th, 2020. It is in the morning because we know that sometimes things are very fluid as information comes out. We hope to do another update here in the near future, but regular updates as warranted on the website. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a safe day.